This is a hidden street food spot in Tokyo. So the spot I am today, not a lot of people know about. It's kind of a very, very local spot. It's called Oyama Station. It's about five minutes away from Ikebukuro. What's interesting about this spot is that it's a shotengai or a shopping street with a covered roof. So basically, if it's raining outside, you can still enjoy this area. The name of this shopping street is called Happy Road and was built just after World War II. But it wasn't called Happy Road when it first started. It was called Oyama Ginza, but it was later changed, I believe in 1977. So this place does have some history. If you look around and just through the shops, you can see that there's a lot of mom and pop stores, which is super cool and I'm super excited to show you today. But before I start, if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. And if you want to help support the channel, check out the Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out my Discord community. That all said, let me take you on this hidden street food tour. Happy Road Oyama runs in two directions from Kawagoe Kaito to Oyama Station and from Oyama Station southward. This nostalgic shopping street has more than 400 stores in the arcade and more than 25,000 locals coming here every day. One thing I love about this area too is they have some back alleys that you can explore. Number 1. Yakitori Honpo Hamake You can find this takeout yakitori shop on the outside of Daruma Ichiba Market. The shop sells 100% Japan made chicken. But today, I'm sharing with you my own secret favorite, their fried beef and pork menchi. We are doing some street food today. Look at this, menchi katsu. I explain anymore, let me just take a bite because I am hungry. Oh, that is so delicious. Got crumbs all over my face. Look at all of that juicy juice coming straight from this menchikatsu. There's just a lot of meat juice. And it is so crunchy. What is going on today? I gotta take another bite. Mm. Oh, like Ice Cube said, today is a good day. Let me just open this up and show you what we are dealing with. You can see all the onions. There is just so much flavor in there. It has a little bit of that savoriness and sweetness at the same time. Man, the flavor is popping. This is like some of the best menchikatsu I've ever had. Like, I have a lot of menchikatsu and this is pretty good. What's also cool about this shop is that they have not only menchikatsu, but they have like different yakitori, all sorts of different meats that you can buy. But if you do want some chicken yakitori, then I'm going to show you another spot in just a little bit. So just hold on, we're going to get there. Wow, I just really love walking around this place. Just walking around, you really feel like you're in Japan. You kind of get like a sense of, you know, all of the culture and everything that's kind of cool about Japan all in this street. What's also interesting about this spot is they have a lot of shops that have really, really cheap products. Wow, look at these masks. They're only 191 yen, less than $2 for 50. Number two, Watanabe Sengyo. Inside of Daruma Ichiba Market, hidden behind the vegetable shops and butcher, you'll find a straight from the ocean fresh fish store. I got the Moriawase set which has two different types of fish. This one I chose Chutoro which is tuna and it also has some hamachi. You can see it right there. It is so beautiful, nice and luscious, fresh in the morning. Get a little bit of wasabi right there. That is just so fresh. You can taste like all of the fat coming from the chutoro. That's really nice. And then here you go. Here's the hamachi. Whoa, look at that piece. Throw a little bit of wasabi on there. Wasabi just like that. Cool. This truly puts a smile on my face. See how beautiful the colors on that fish is. That hamachi is just glistening with beauty saying, eat me, eat me. Okay. <laughs> so what I love about this place, it has all different types of sashimi. You can choose from all different assortments. And they also have rice bowls in the front. So if you want, you know, your carbs for the day, you can also get it there. Number three, Shugetsudo. This Japanese shop has been in business since 1948. And not only does it have sweets, but it offers them yum yum rice dishes like inari sushi and onigiri. What? What? <laughs> 
に出てこないんですけど、桜餅ですとか、あないんですよね。草餅ですとかね。どのくらい出てるの？あのちょっと聞いてみますね。はいお待ちしてます。ああ、すげえ。桜の葉の香りがね、すごくいい香りがいるんですね。I got my sukura mochi. This one is pretty awesome because it came straight out of the kitchen. It is still warm to the touch. This is a real cherry blossom leaf that they prepare with, and you eat it just like so. The mochi itself has been kind of like smashed down into like a little pancake, then wrapped around the anko. Oh, it smells so nice. It almost smells like a, like a cherry blossom tea house. Let me take a bite of this. Wow, you can taste the spring in there, the sweetness coming from the anko, and the mochi itself is soft and has a playful texture. The leaf itself has been kind of like marinated in a salt. It just blends so well with that sweet anko. The anko it is pretty smooth. It has a little bit of texture, and then the mochi just wraps all of this in like a nice little package. It's just a great blend of sweetness and saltiness. I could have another one, but there's other places to show you, so let me show you that now. Number four, Yanaka coffee. If you need a quick Pick me up during your adventures. I recommend Yanaka Coffee. It's a small hole in the wall coffee roaster that will for sure get you back on that yellow brick road or whatever color the road is. So I got the milk coffee. It says Yanaka Coffee right there. So cute. The little straw cap on top. So today I got the Cafe Ole, also known as Milk Coffee. That is a delicious cup of coffee. If you get the iced coffee, then you get like the blend of beans. But if you get the hot coffee, then you get the spiked beans. What I love about this place is that they have all of the beans just right behind me. In fact, you can hear that like slight humming noise. They're roasting the beans right now. They do everything just right here. Everything is freshly roasted, and you get like a nice cup of coffee. And it's just kind of like off the main street, so you do need to go kind of outside of the. Shelter. Number five, Funachu. This shop is a yakitori chain originating in Asakusa. The founder started the business post-war, specializing mainly in eel and river fish. But since they could only be caught in the winter, he started to sell chicken on skewers. So this place just has so much different chicken. It has fried chicken. It has chicken skewers. In fact, they even have some like tempura. So whatever you want, they pretty much have it. It's pretty awesome. I wanted to order everything, but I couldn't, so I stuck with the yakitori and the three pieces that I got. Was the negima, piman, and I got the nonkotsu. I'm gonna just start with the the negima, which is chicken, and it has some onions in here as well. Hmm. Mm. When you take that first bite, you can definitely taste the charcoal grill from that. The chicken is marinated. It's a little bit on like kind of the savory side. Usually, these yakitori places are meant for people to like buy and then kind of take home and then heat it up in the microwave. But we're doing it street food style, so it is a little bit cold. But who cares if it's this good? Let's do this piman right now. You can see the green bell pepper on there, and then this is kind of like a minced chicken. It probably has some like onions and some other little goodies inside. Wow, bell pepper taste is really strong, and then the minced meat. There's just a lot of flavor in here. It is thoroughly grilled right there. Looks like a little bit burnt, but it's really perfectly cooked. Finally, I got the nonkotsu, which is chicken cartilage. Some people don't like it so much. I love the crunchiness to it. Hmm. Hmm. Here's the crunch. I could be the crunch or the old people shuffling their shoes right behind me. <laughs> crunch test number two. The nankotsu itself has been salted quite a bit, so you definitely get a lot of savoriness with this one. I am quite happy with this, and in fact, we are in happy road, so it all makes sense right now. So this spot behind me right here, I definitely wanted to show you, but today it's closed. It's called Piedo Crepe Spot. That's ultra popular. It has more than 200 different types of crepes, but they're closed today, so I can't show you. But if you do make it out here, definitely come check out this place. Let's go on to the next spot. Number six, Bakery Cafe Maruju. Maruju is definitely the number one hitter for them bakery shops at Happy Road. It offers a variety of unique breads that has home run written all over it. 
So this spot is right next to the station and it has one of my favorites, Curry Pond. In fact, Curry Pond is one of their best sellers. I think it's number two just behind their Shio Pond, just like a salt bread roll. But this one is a little bit special. It's not Curry Pond per se, but it has a little bit of extra. It has the cheesy of cheesiness. Look at that crispy outer shell and this like a fried bread. Let me just open this up in front of you guys. Ho ho ho. How amazing is that? That is rich. I'm gonna be honest, taking a bite of this, you feel just a little bit guilty. You know you are taking down some calories because there's a lot of cheese, and there's some mayonnaise right here, and this curry is thick. So the curry does have some beef in it, but it doesn't have like those really big chunks that you sometimes get in curry. So it's kind of just all mashed into the curry. And on top, look at all of this cream cheese loveliness. You'd think like it'd be like a cheddar cheese or something like that, but it is a straight up cream cheese and it has a crunchy, crunchy fried outer bread shell. Whew, just finished. Let's go to the next spot. So I just crossed the train tracks in Yuzu Oyama and this place doesn't have a coverage area but it's still worth taking a look. And number seven, Ikon. Ooh, so this place that does it meet just a little bit different and that's why I took you to this place. You can get a beer or whatever drink you want and some pretty interesting food. First of all, let me show you this. This is a straight up intestines. I don't know if you're gonna like it, but the whole thing is, you know, when you're in Japan, you might wanna try something new. This is Senmai, which is leaf tribe, Gatsu, which is pork stomach, and Kobukuro, which is the womb. On the menu, it's called sashimi, so you might think it's raw, but it's really boiled. It's accompanied with a sesame oil with roughly ground salt, and sumiso, which is usually a mix of vinegar, sugar, and miso. Flavor me up! Just try the guts. Mm. Interesting textures all over. In general, it has kind of like a chewy, gristled texture. More than the meat itself, I am really digging the sauce. This sumiso is so good. It kind of has that like, tangy taste to it. Whatever the meat is, whatever you put on, when you dip it in the sauce, it just picks up all of the flavor of the sauce. So it is so flavorful. I love it so much. I'm digging it. Like, I'm almost done with all of this intestines. It is so good. You know, this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't add some karage to it. This this place is a little bit interesting because it adds some shoga to it. it. Looks like it has some like spicy flakes to it, but in fact, it is red kind of ginger. We can dip it into some mayonnaise. Oh, that is crunchy AF. Wow. Mm. Super moist in the middle. Still has all of the juiciness of the chicken with the Vinny Shoga ginger on the outside to give that extra flavor. I know that some people don't like Vinny Shoga, kind of half and half on it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But you know, if there's a quart, we're gonna ball, and if there's fried chicken, we're gonna eat. That's just how it is. Oh man, I already drank a little bit of beer. I forgot to record because I got so excited. But that's just how it is. It's been such a good day. Take another drink. This is what it's all about, coming here and like getting a little piece of Japan, kind of getting away from the big city and enjoying kind of just the simple things of Japan. And I know that a lot of you can't come to Japan right now, so I'm having this beer for you and then when you come to Japan, you can come here and have a beer for me. So these are my favorite food spots at Happy Road. I hope you liked the video. Before I go, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor for this video today, NordVPN. If you're looking to safely and securely connect to the internet, then look no further than NordVPN. Here are just some of the reasons why NordVPN is such a great solution. First of all, NordVPN have over 5,500 super fast servers in 60 countries throughout the world. They have double data encryption so you can be super duper anonymous online. Perfect if you're traveling to Japan or anywhere else in this world as it protects your data in places like airports or even coffee shops. Also useful if you're trying to unlock Netflix or your favorite sites, especially the ones related to Japan. And finally, NordVPN have unlimited bandwidth. So go to nordvpn.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and use my code Paolo from Tokyo and get a two year plan with one additional month plus a huge discount. That said, if you want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.